Captain Ross here with Hoagie Lure Company, and today we're fishing with Dane Yalensis over here on the East Coast Minnow Run. It just kicked off recently. Dane's been throwing our Hoagie Pro Tail paddles for several years now. He's posted up some awesome tarpon catches on Instagram. We've kind of chatted over the last year or two and finally made it over today to get on this epic minnow run. You can probably see tarpon blowing up right behind us. Dane, you've been doing this for a long time. Tell us what you like to throw. Yeah, I like to throw, right now I feel like they're uh, keyed in on some smaller baits, so I like the little bigger bait because there's also mullet mixed in with these minnows. And I'll just cast out diagonally across the school and just real slow retrieve, no jigging or anything. And it takes like one out of 100 casts, but they like these things and they don't come off. So it's a game of a lot of casts. We're using a variety of size paddle tails to imitate or kind of separate yourself from all the available forage. There's billions of, of micro minnows out here. There's some mullet migrating in. The sun's still coming up. The bite's probably good. So we're going to get out here and try and get on a few more fish and check back in later. Good morning from Hoagie Land. We're up here in Jensen Beach with Daniel Ensis. Fishing the minnow run. Sunrise here, we've got tarpon rolling all around us. We're throwing a variety of the pro tail paddles. Starting the morning off here, broke off on a nice triple digit fish. And this is the perfect beach size right here. Uh, a lot of the bait fish around here is only about an inch. So that larger pro tail paddle, it's got that heavy duty tarpon grade hook on it. It's able to kind of get noticed out of these big bait schools and it offers a casting range to get out when fish are a little bit further out. Right now they're real close, rolling right here behind me. So the action's hot. We're going to keep on going. It's sunrise here in Jensen Beach. We're going to keep on throwing pro tail paddles for tarpon here during the minnow run. See, we've got tarpon boiling just right on the, the trough. We're using a nine foot, I'm using a nine foot CTS surf rod. I've got the Shimano Twin Power 8000. Got it spooled up with almost 500 yards, a 30 pound braid. We're using a 125 pound bite tippet. Now the technique for catching these fish is super simple. We're throwing the pro tail paddles, we're casting it out. You can either work parallel to the trough or kind of cast out to open water and just a slow, steady retrieve. About as slow as you can move the bait while still filling the tail kick is all you need to do. Slow, steady retrieve, keeping that rod tip up. Just cranking it ever so slowly. You don't want to do any erratic motion. You don't want to be doing any aggressive jigging retrieve. This is all about slow and steady. These fish are extremely lazy and they're going to want to eat something that's easy to grab onto. As far as color goes, some days they can be picky, others not. The black silver is really popular for imitating these darker bait fish. The bone and olive are always a good producer. Uh, we hooked two fish on the blue and white today, so that's another great color. You just kind of keep switching things up. But overall, as Dane told us earlier, it's just cast, 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 and eventually finding that fish that wants to chew. So we're just going to keep beating it up and enjoying this gorgeous East Coast sunrise. Finishing up our day here in Jensen Beach, Stewart area. The midday bite was really slow. We had some good luck this morning. We had a thunderstorm come through. It's still raining out here. And we just moved locations, found some happy fish, put about five or six casts in. That bait is buried right up here in the jaw. One of the key tips for fishing this is we're, we're back on the high tide. This morning was high tide. They were biting there close to the beach. Midday at that low tide, there was really limited activity. We're back here for the high tide. Fish are back up feeding within range. Low light. We're gonna get this girl back out here. I think she's ready to go. So we're gonna talk about a couple reasons why we're choosing the pro tail paddle that we're using right now. It's low light, it's sunset. The sun's getting low. 
We've got a mix of mullet and minnows around here. I'm throwing the six and a half inch, two ounce pro tail paddle right now. This is awesome for on these surf casting rods. We can get extreme range. We're using 30 pound braids, so 80 to 100 yard casts are possible. A lot of the time we're not needing to cast that far. Fish are within 10 to 15 yards of the surf here. The larger profile of this bait in low light is gonna give off a heavier thumping action, help those fish hone in on it and distinguish it from the smaller bait fish that they're targeting at the moment. The large barbarian jig hook on this swim bait is suitable for tarping well over 100 pounds. So that heavy duty hook is really helping you have the advantage to be able to land those fish in difficult conditions, get a solid hook up. And as you saw there, that fish choked it down, got a little damage to it, but it's totally ready to catch another fish or two. So it's the perfect bait for fishing these low light scenarios and landing big tarpon from the beach. Dane, it's been awesome getting out here with yeah. you, talking for a couple years and, and watching your photos and your success over here. I fish by boat in these same areas a lot of times, but coming here with you, seeing how you do it from shore, picking up some tips from you, you know, with the heavier leader, how to approach these fish. Um, you know, some of the tips that we learned today was these fish are closest and biting the best during high tide. So we had our success in the morning on the high tide. Up here in the evening, we're almost at the peak tide. So it's a great tip to kind of maximize your efficiency. I appreciate you inviting me out. Yeah, thanks for coming. Fishing together, it was super successful. Awesome action, and uh, I hope we can get back here again. Awesome, man. Thank you.